hello guys welcome back to our videos so today's video is a small one with just some eco tips that may help you because not everyone can afford or has uh, available bulk stores so unfortunately we still have to buy some stuff that are considered single-use items and are not recyclable so this is our way to reuse uh, the stuff that we must buy still so the first one because we love mushrooms so when we buy the mushroom trays as you can see they come in a plastic tray so i think the meat as well also comes in a plastic tray so what we can do is I, we also reuse the film plastic on top of it just so you know so you just wash the box obviously because <laughs> it has dirt from the mushrooms and then you can use to start some seeds or for the plants like you see we have a flower and it's um, on a box that has little holes in it so you can even use it as a plate for the flower <laughs> so the next one is with the cereal bags because those are not recyclable and we didn't really know what to do with them so what we do is we use them as little bin liners in our bedroom because when we blow our nose or eat a banana as you can see we don't have anywhere to put those things uh, so we just have a little bin and then we take it to the big one so the next tip is to reuse your plastic gloves. We're not really giving it a new use, but plastic gloves are what Jenny usually uses to dye her hair or go outside during this quarantine because she used to work. And she has to do the dishes there, so she just brings these gloves back home. What we do to reuse them is we wash them thoroughly with clean soap and water, and then we let them dry. If they are stuck together, we just blow the inside and they can fit again inside our hands. Yeah, we keep so a mountain. I have a collection already. <laughs> so the next one, I hope you really appreciate this little montage of me delivering the newspaper and receiving it. Like, this is the first time I'm trying to do these things, so I hope it doesn't look too bad. So what we do with the newspaper is we just put it in the counter because when you share the house with multiple people, the kitchen can look really, really messy. So we just decided like this is the best option instead of just having to wash all the time the counter with yeah. ugly stains and stuff that you don't even know where this is coming from. So we just do that. And you can also use as a bin liner if you have already a little bit. Hi guys. Hi. So that was it. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you liked our tips. So, just for the people that might be uh, unaware, um, the gloves that I showed you are the ones that I use for my hair uh, products and the times that I dye my hair and stuff like that. So, if you don't feel comfortable in washing the gloves that you use outside during this quarantine, you don't have to, obviously. But this is just some tips that we give so you can still reuse um, single use items. Yeah, because we buy so many things that have plastic on it and since we can't really choose sometimes, sometimes we can, but other times we just come with a plastic. We, we try to reuse it as best as possible, so we don't create as much waste, waste to the yeah. environment. Yeah, so obviously <laughs> if you could if you could just get in bulk, like bulk, yeah, cereals and stuff like that, you wouldn't have the packaging and you could just use compostable liners for your uh, bin but since we cannot find that uh, in our area right now we've been trying to give new uses to the stuff that otherwise we just go to reduce to the waste storage. yeah, yeah. so i that hope you liked it <laughs> that we'll make more videos about our eco and reusable tips so if you like that just subscribe and give it a like to this video because we love to make videos like this because we also sometimes need to find more ways to just be more waste free i guess so if that's yeah. something you like just subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> see you next time see you